The markets will continue to go up until they can't. Feels like the deck of the ship is starting to get a little wet with people crowding to one side and starting to agree that it's clear sailing ahead. Given the historically extended state of the markets, when everyone starts to agree on an outcome, what do markets typically do? Extract the most pain from the most folks possible. The market can't climb without a wall of worry. Overpriced markets and massive worldwide debt. It's not, if, it's when. The USA will continue to cope until one too many black swans break the back of Plan B when there is no more Plan Bs, the masses will stand around dumbfounded, trying to figure out a Plan C as their stomachs growl from hunger. By that time, all bets are off. Stocks are now baked into the cake by the Fed and the PPT is leading edge hyperinflation. Buckle up. The bubble that they created is far bigger. This thing is probably going to blow up on Donald Trump. I wish he hadn't claimed ownership when he put his brand on this stock market bubble on this phony economy. They're going to have the rename the Great Recession because this one is going to be worse. We are going to have a dollar crisis this time. The average American is going to suffer much more this time. That's why I'm here to tell people how to profit on the events that are about to unfold. I'd say the market will crash in December or start of next year after the election if Trump goes against Warren or Sanders. It will crash before the elections if he goes against Biden or another Wall Street-oriented candidate. Wall Street will try to keep their shit together a bit more to avoid a socialist president or get Trump to lose his election if they have a decent offer from the Democrats. To me this whole period was synthesized, market should have crashed a few years ago but it was helped by politics and the Fed. The market rose and is still in rising only because of the Fed, it is artificially being propped up with cheap money they print out of nothing. Meanwhile, the real economy is getting worse. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. The biggest risk by far, coronavirus. Or, more accurately, the shutdown in China due to the virus. If the coronavirus party keeps running into every Chinese orifice, the market will not care who is in office. Coronavirus is the catalyst that sets off the next crisis in faith events. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, no it's a black swan. Sure, the central banks can print and buy to the moon, but as the ships, jets, factories, etc. and real economic activity continues to decline, there will be a very real effect that cannot be papered over. The Fed, PBOC, ECB, may be able to manufacture faith, but faith does not need to be shipped. Just wait until all those people on meds made in China or products from China can't get them. Just wait until all the crap made in China but integral in things like transformers and medical equipment aren't available. Just wait until the neighborhood Chinese restaurant hotbeds of illegal immigrants begin a mini epidemic. At a certain point, the coronavirus will be a secondary concern. Go to your local hospital. Ask them how many of their consumables are made in China. IV lines, catheters, plasma bags, don't get me started on medicine. Example, the last US penicillin factory closed in 2003 and moved to China. You people who think this isn't going to affect you, are having a bit of normalcy bias. It's amazing how many astoundingly stupid people can't grasp this very simple concept. The whole thing could be a fake, yeah right, and it does not matter at this point. The supply chains are being disrupted and or outright shut down. That is the immediate problem. Any reserves are being eaten into right now. They will deplete. Life is going to change. The crash is happening soon. The bankers know it, but they gotta make the last few dollars before the whole shit house goes up in smoke. The grazers of this world, those that consume more than they produce, are not prepared for what is coming. The Georgia Guidestones will tell the real agenda. In the open, for everyone to see. The US will be in the greatest depression by mid to late 2020. This time is the big one. The US economy filled up with debt in the 1920s until they hit the Minsky moment in 1929, and everyone has systematically done the same thing during globalization, Japan, the UK, the US, the Eurozone and China. At least the PBOC did see the Minsky moment coming, unlike the Fed, 1929 and 2008, Bank of England, 2008, ECB, 2008, and Bank of Japan, 1991. The global economy is just about coping with its debt load. Central banks have been continually lowering interest rates to keep this show on the road. Central banks can't raise interest rates as all those debt repayments are just about affordable at these rates. 
everything is just about holding together, let's hope we don't get any other shocks to the system. Oh no, it's the coronavirus. Actually, a strong gust of wind blowing in the wrong direction could take this thing down, it's right on edge. What is different this time, 49% of the population lived on farms in 1918. Today, 19.3% of the population lives in a rural setting. In 1918 half the population went to the chicken house for eggs. Today, they go to Walmart. The systemic collapse brought on by this pandemic is shutting down the supply chains. 400 million people in China are under house arrest, and the pandemic has not peaked. When the same thing happens to Europe and the United States, the store shelves will empty in an hour. What comes next is famine, social chaos, and the die-off. It is certainly different this time because many political systems will not survive the coming everything crash. The difference is that the US dollar is the world reserve currency, and almost all international trade happens in dollars. This creates a massive artificial demand for dollars, which keeps its value up despite its troubles. Had this not been the case, the dollar would have tanked already. The dollar presently is the best dirty shirt in the dirty laundry. I'll take my chance with gold and silver. Why the next recession could be a problem dear viewer, this is all too scary. I am watching the manufacturing activity in the US economy, and it's concerning. I ask if it is hinting at a recession for the US economy or if the economy is in a recession already. Here's why I am really worried. You see, recessions are part of the business cycle. Every economy goes through recessions and growth, it's normal. For the US economy, though, the next economic slowdown could be very critical. We already have low interest rates, something that the Federal Reserve uses to manage the economy. Between 2015 and 2018, the Fed tried to raise rates, but it sent shocks to the economy. I am worried about what will happen in the next slowdown. How low could the Fed take interest rates in order to fight the slowdown? I worry that the next recession could trigger the Federal Reserve to implement a negative interest rate policy NIRP, and print a lot more money than it did in the previous recession. We won't even need a financial crisis like the one we had back in 2008-2009 for the Fed to take extreme measures. Let me end with this, NIRP and printing more money would be a major problem. Negative interest rates and printing money reduces the buying power of Americans and causes bigger problems in the long term. Negative interest rates will bank runs. The central banks have been playing a game of whack-a-mole, using monetary policy tools to quash any flare-up in volatility. Under this regime, it has been the wealthiest 0.1% of the world population that has benefited from asset price inflation. We are already seeing financial and economic troubles becoming political and social flare-ups. I expect that these social tensions will only continue to escalate if developed world policymakers are unwilling to take their medicine. Get out of the markets and stockpile some supplies. There is no other path forward other than to print. None. Except to collapse. We don't have Minsky moments anymore, only Prinsky moments. Printing will absolutely continue until such time that prices are so out of control that the average person can no longer afford necessities. At that point, no amount of printing will help, and the thing will fall of its own weight, but we are a long way from that point. 20 trillion dumped into a previously valued 65 trillion market is no hard stopping point. Everybody is hooked at this point, and the vast majority can see no downside. For that reason, I don't think of any of this as speculation by the participants, it is instead, 100% complacency. All countries are ruled by criminals, and the whole world economic system is just a giant Ponzi scheme. The Ponzi scheme in the Western world is finally revealing. The global economy is at a crisis point, the powers of unconventional monetary policy are exhausted, and markets are just beginning to wake up to this. The companies that gambled and lost need to go out of business, and rich people need to lose their wealth when their businesses and investments crash. The taxpayer should not pay. The elites switch on the doomsday algorithm, which makes all the markets collapse. We call it, a recession. If the general public actually knew how a central bank-based monetary system works and why it works, there would be a civil war by the weekend. Watch how the global markets react to the coronavirus news. Trading algos are not forward-looking. They only trade on instant news feeds. When bad news hits the tape, they react instantly, and markets crash. 
Overnight, the mainstream media furiously looks for news tidbit to refute and lessen the bad news, and when that hits the wires, the trading algos reverse positions and begin trading on mainstream media positive opinions. These algos do not read the tea leave and make any projections beyond the day-to-day -day news feeds. The problem with this is the black swans like the coronavirus. If analyzed in depth, you will see that the quarantines are expanding exponentially, and the Chinese population will be locked in their homes for a very extended period of time. The end result will be a shutdown of manufacturing, airline travel, exports, etc. China's GDP will collapse over the next few months, and they will lie through their teeth that it will be a minor impact, but we all know their GDP will crash. US GDP will suffer correspondingly. A recession is in the cards now. Read the tea leaves and take action now. Get out of the markets and stockpile some supplies, just in case. I think I know the Minsky moment. It will be the moment when the power that be determined that more money is being withdrawn from the market by retired boomers than putting in by future retirees via the 401k system. That moment is coming or may have already come. They pushed the boomers out of fixed income and into stocks already. The robots can fake the volume and value as long as real sellers are not selling. The next recession will be the dimming of civilization. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.